Okay, so part two then. So the battery carrier, um, two wires for the battery to the motor, and then the two smaller controller wires. So the idea today will be to take some of this two core, two core wire like this, make it a make an extension, and then I think I'm going to take some Cat5 cable. But it's around about the same size um, for this sing signal wire. Probably cut it around about here and then do my extensions. And then wrap it up with some shrink wrap. Probably that one for the signal wire and you know this for the for the main current. Um, yeah, I got some other shrink wrap things to do. And then I've managed to take this apart just to pull back the sheath. This is the, the speedo sensor. So same thing there. I think I'll use a some more Cat5 network cable and strip out some of the wires in there, connect it all up, and then that should give me the length that I'm looking for. So a bit of soldering today. Um, Bit of faffing around with stuff but okay so i'll put the the battery onto the the carrier now i've ran this cable uh again it's just loose at the moment it runs all the way up and i need to neaten it up a bit here of course but um extending that was quite straightforward i'll obviously wrap that with some shrink wrap and all that um but pretty easy and i've given it a a test start and Everything looks good there, so on to the speed sensor. So for the battery mount, um, I made two little brackets that sit underneath um, the frame here. And then, you know, just a couple of M6 bolts through the top and then an extra Jubilee clip for, uh, just for additional security. Um, should be fine. I don't think it'll, it'll move uh, with the battery with the weight of the battery and then I've just ran the cable through I really don't like all of these cables over here um, gotta figure out a better way to you know to neaten that up um, maybe some sort of sheath or something over the, the whole boom it's a bit a bit untidy um, next step though is to get the speedo sensor done which is this tiny little blue one and then that's the main connection for all of the controls and stuff. So we'll get that one done next. And then, yeah, we're pretty much there. Okay, so buttoning up the, the extension of the speedo cable. So fitting that together and extending it, again, using a Cat5 network cable. Um, that is so finicky. The standard um, sensor and the standard plug the wiring that they're using there is a steel wire. So it's not copper wire, it's steel wire. So you have to braze together or solder together the copper from the Cat5 to the steel that is part of that sensor. And that's really, really finicky, time-consuming work. It literally took me about an hour and a half because it's so fine. Um, it's so easy to break it as well. But yeah, put the, the sensor on, um, it's nice and close, as it needs to be. Um, and yeah, it seems to be all working now, so I need to do a test ride. Um, just on the right side here, the throttle. You can see the, the chain going there in the front. And we can see the speed now, so it doesn't cut out with that error code 21. And it seems to top out at 17 miles an hour. I think that might be a legal restriction. I thought it was 19 or 20 miles an hour, but it seems like maybe it's 25 kilometers an hour or 17 and a half miles an hour or something like that. Um, I've got it in sport mode and there's an eco mode as well and there's a whole bunch of other things. 
But now it's like that. Um, I think I can change the wheel circumference. So if I drop the wheel circumference, I think I'd get more speed out of it. If I raised the wheel circumference, I think I'd get more torque. You know, I'd get the ability to climb up hills. But for now, it's programmed into these these 20 inch wheels um, that are on the Scorpion. My my Scorpion has a 20 inch all round. Some Scorpions have 26s on the back. But again, that can be that can be programmed. Um, within this interface, um, which I haven't really started playing with as yet. So now all these horrible cables, which I really I hate cables, but I've got to do something with them. Um, I might put some sort of sheath over there, um, just simply because that looks terrible. So I might have to put a, I don't know, a piece of neoprene or some sort of stretch material something maybe waterproof, just to hide it more than anything else, just the aesthetics of it. And then cable tie everything down so that I don't accidentally trip myself up while I'm getting in or off the trike. And uh, last thing, I need to get some of these, I need to do um, some way to, to get this wire out of the way of my hand when I'm actuating the brake. So my thinking at the moment, is to use oh, this sort of cable protect so it's reasonably rigid um, run the cables down there and then just you know try to attach it to the top and the bottom of the bar so that i can like i say i can reach out and grab the the brake lever without snagging the cable or something like that so that's next on the list um battery is all good nice and solid it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, I do need to put a some sort of carrier here for you know the the pump and the water bottle and all that sort of stuff. But that's you know there's lots of space to do that. That should be quite easy. So yeah, finally happy. Let's hope my wiring and my soldering works. Um, the headlight is quite bright. It's quite focused. It's not like a, a, a broad beam, it's quite a narrow beam. But it is quite bright, as you would expect, hooked up to such a strong battery. So yeah, now it's all just a case of putting it all together, cleaning it all up, and then taking it for its first all right, test. So it's all zip tied up. There must be a million zip ties on this bike now. But um, I made it as neat as I can. I have to do something about that mess. I really don't like that. But like I say, there's a lot of zip ties all over the place that will, yeah, there's not much I can do about it. It's just the way the wiring works. Battery's on. Um, I've side mounted an old, an old BMW Motorrad uh, bum bag that I had lying around for years. Um, and that I'll put my water bottle and stuff in. I'm still struggling with these just used a bit of um, uh, a Jubilee clip just to give you know that cable a bit of offset so I don't trigger it accidentally um, unfortunately it's that uh, that cable support that I had is just too big the connectors won't go over it so these connectors are just too big for it so I'm gonna have to figure out something a little bit more elegant than that it looks a bit rubbish um, but yeah I'll, I'll I'll figure it out. So next step is test ride. Um, I've been playing around with it a bit in the garage, obviously. It's chucking it down outside, so I can't really ride it. But the next step is a test ride around the street in front. Um, see what that looks like, see how it goes. And then I also need to... I've built a little headrest for over here, which I need to fit now. Just a very simple bracket that will go in just by the, the headrest to give me a you know a bit of support. So that's it for now. Um, yeah, we'll see what it's like on the road, I guess.